Hello everyone. In this podcast, I would like to talk about the media's impact on professional athletes. Today, the media projects more and more negative stories. Don't believe me? Look at any news website or station. Why are they doing this? Because people are more interested in the reports and reporters can drag out the stories, especially in the sports world. Negative reports in, the sp- in sports can become frustrating for an organization and a distraction for its players. Negative or ill-supported reports can divide a team and even tarnish a player's name due to rumors or allegations. Take the Deshaun Jackson trade rumor, for example. For those of you who do not know who he is, he was the number one wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles for the past six years. Speculation began at the beginning of the 2013-2014 season that Jackson and head coach Chip Kelly did not see eye to eye on how things were to be run in Kelly's new system. Jackson is far from an angel on the field, with his quick trigger attitude and trash talking and showboating ways. The wideout even admitted to ESPN reporters that he would cut routes short and would not play at his maximum potential in 2012 and 2013 campaign because he was unhappy with his contract. However, When Deshaun wants to play at his best, his stat line speaks louder than his words. This past season, Jackson led all other wideouts with receptions 40-plus yards. He also had nine touchdowns to go along with 1,300 yards. Jackson was also voted to the Pro Bowl for the third time this past season. However, unnamed reporters continue to say the wide receiver could be done with Philly, even with him being under contract. ESPN, Bleacher Report, NewJersey.com. CBS Sports all started covering the story in early March. As an Eagles fan, this news was not easy to hear and came as a surprise. Why would they trade him after this be- his best season? Jackson began to hear the reports and started posting on his Instagram account. At one of one, quote, a friendly face can be an enemy's mask. And, quote, most of the reports that come out are hilarious. If you listen to them, you'll be fooled. The media, LOL. Reporters from ESPN, Bleacher Report, CBS Sports, etc. flocked to the Eagles organization and asked whether or not they were indeed shopping Deshaun. Both GM, Howie Roseman, and Chip Kelly chose not to address the matter, and Jackson remained in the dark about his future. Jackson was conditioning out in California, where the 27-year-old star grew up when he received news on March 28th that he had been released. So why did they not get a trade for him? Why lose your best receiver for nothing? Did Ship not like the guy that much, or was it an underlying reason behind it all? After Deshaun's surprising release, media outlets and fans began to question why the move. In an article written by Elliot Sher Parks, it was rumored that Deshaun had been affiliated with the Crips out in Los Angeles. Again, these were allegations, and nothing was, nothing was proven. Jackson may have been a head case, but never an off-the-field issue. He was never convicted of murder or DUI. He never shot himself in the leg or was yelling out bomb in an airport like other players have done in the past. This man even ran a campaign against bullying for children. The book No Bullies in the Huddle shows that Jackson was a man with morals and that he was involved with the community against violence. This article by NewJersey.com had tarnished his name. The article talked about Deshaun's background from L.A. and who he hung out with. People Jackson had known were involved in a gang shooting and were convicted of murder charges. However, Jane Robinson, a spokeswoman for the L.A. District Attorney's Office, told NewJersey.com that Jackson was not part of the case. He was not a charged defendant nor a witness. The sources for this article remained unnamed. These allegations should surely not help the wide receiver find a new home in the NFL. No one wanted to sign another Aaron Hernandez-type player, the tight end from the New England Patriots, who was being convicted of murder back in June of 2013. Jackson sat down in an interview with an ESPN analyst, Stephen A. Smith, on March 31st to address the media about false rumors. When asked if Jackson was a gang member, this is what he had to say. No, it's not true. Honestly, where I was raised and where I grew up, that's the product of an environment. The things I witnessed, the things I saw on a daily basis, kind of surrounded me around that. Do I know friends that are out there involved? Yes. I try to, you know, stay away from them. I don't try to intervene and do things of any nature that has anything to do with negative activities, but I am definitely aware and known certain gang members. But as far as me being affiliated or me being a gang member, never not have once been. Never had an affiliation of going out and doing things that is against the law. I always felt that I am a product of my environment, but at the same time, I'm the guy that wants to go out there and do things the right way. Jackson's image may have been tarnished by these reports. Luckily, he was able to move on 
and signed with the Washington Redskins on April 3rd. This shows us how much media can impact the future of any athlete or individual. Thanks for tuning in.